Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new and welcome to another bookish video. So today, as you will have seen from the title, I have a very exciting slash very terrifying video. Today, I am going to try and create my very own reading journal. I am obsessed with other people's reading journals. Whenever I see anyone talk about them, whenever I see journaling videos or people during their reading vlogs updating their reading journals, I want one so bad. But one thing you need to know about me is I am a quitter. So keeping up with journals has never been my strong suit. I did have a reading journal last year, it might even have been the year before, that I kept up with for about four months maybe, which was amazing for me, I'm not gonna lie, but after that I, I just couldn't do it. I tried to go the whole artistic route with beautiful spreads, lots of things stuck in and all that jazz. I am so self-critical when it comes to things like that and as soon as anything doesn't look slightly right or slightly how I want it to look, I just end up sacking the whole thing off. So there is literally no point in me trying to go down that route as much as I admire other people it's just not going to work for me. So this time I am going to try and create a very simple minimalist reading journal, literally just like a little reading log with little reviews in it I'm thinking. Something that I can keep up with and actually maintain over a long period of time because I would love to fill up a reading journal full of my thoughts and full of all my ratings and things. So I'm thinking the more simple and minimalist I keep it the more likely I am to continue with it. So that's what we're going to be trying out today. We are going to try and and create a simple minimalist reading journal. Why are my fingers still crossed? I have got my laptop here. I have been spending the morning looking for inspo from other creators. When it comes to me, in terms of creativity, we have no creativity. No, I'm joking. We have some, but just not enough. Like, I want to be able to visualise what I want to do first before I start putting it on the page. So, yeah, I've taken a few screenshots of other people's reading journals. I will, of course, credit all of those creators down below as I go and let you know who I'm stealing from because I'm a little bit of a thief today, I'm not gonna lie. This is a journal I'm gonna be using. It's just a simple simple black bullet journal. I have stuck two stickers on here so far. I want to fill the whole cover with stickers but at the moment the only stickers I own are Friends stickers. As you can see we've got Frankie Say Relax and How You Doing and I don't want to cover the whole journal just with Friends stickers so I've put on two for now. I've restrained myself and as I get more stickers over time I will add to this so that it's like collaged that's the plan. We'll see if that comes to fruition, however. So yeah, this is just a plain bullet journal. I have ripped some pages out from the start because, as I said, I'm a quitter. I start things and then I quit them. So I ripped out whatever I had started at the beginning of this. So I'm not going to lie, the first few pages are a little bit precarious. The more I turn them back and forth, the more I think they're probably going to fall out. So it's fine, we'll roll with it. I think we should just try and give it a go. I'm going to sit here, try and create a very simple minimalist reading journal. How many times can I say that in one video? So if you would like to see my simple and minimalist a reading journal then just keep watching. Okay first of all we have to try and set you up so that you can see what I'm doing. How do people do this? Okay guys you know what I I just I just we're gonna do this a little differently because the way most people do bullet journal videos it's just it's too hard okay <laughs> it's too hard so we're gonna do this vlog style i am gonna obviously still put a voiceover over i'm gonna like show you as i'm doing it maybe put some music behind it i don't know and then i'll do a proper flip through at the end and show you what i've really done because i just nothing is worth the stress that i have just experienced nothing <laughs> for 2022. I do want to read 100 books in 2022 now on my Goodreads, that is my goal. So I very much copied Maddie from Book Browsing Vlog here for her little tracker. I love the way she did her shelves like this and just created 100 books so she could then fill them in or tick them off as she went. And hopefully we'll have filled them all in by the end of the year. 100 books, that is the goal. I did actually realise that after the first two shelves, I was supposed to have 20 on each shelf. I had not done that, so I had to put like a million books on the third shelf to then make sure that the 100 would fit in, but it all worked out all right. <laughs> trying to choose what order to put the highlighters in. I wanted to do my 2022 as like a little rainbow title. So yeah, I was just messing around trying to work out what way I best liked the order for the highlighters. 
Next up, I took a little bit more inspiration from Maddie and this is me creating a little tracker for the books that I have read in August. So I just wanted something really simple, just a really simple log of the books I'm reading. Title, author, rating, very simple, just like that. So I did take a little bit of inspiration from Maddie once again, but I did let her know I was doing that before I did it. Next up, I have taken some inspiration from Katie is reading, I believe. She did a little spread where she put in the days she read. So she just creates these little boxes and then she will colour in each day that she actually read that month. I think she actually got this from Books with Chloe. So I'm taking a couple of creators inspo there. But I really like how you could see how many days you read in the month and hopefully it'll actually motivate me to read most days in the month. So we'll see. Okay, here I'm just using this little life print printer thing that I realised I have back from when I was doing my reading journal before. It just connects to my phone and then I can print off images in order to stick into my reading journal because it's like sticky paper I can use. So yeah, really handy little gadget. If I can find it, I'll definitely link it down below. <laughs> why I'm using those big ass scissors to cut this. They are the only scissors I own. I think they're like dressmaker scissors or something but they do the job so I'm just cutting out the little sticker for Docile. That's the one I'm going to be starting with for my reviews. I just watched do one to see how this was going kind to of, kind of going to look. I am on my laptop there writing the review on Goodreads first of all because I wanted to have it written down and then I could just copy it into my reading journal hopefully without any mistakes. So I just quickly did my review on Goodreads first of all and then I am copying it into the reading journal. For this one, I took some inspiration from Marissa Kazem, I believe her name is. I'm really sorry if I've butchered that name, but I will link her down below. I really love this style that she has for doing her reviews and I am shamelessly copying once again, but I am giving credit, so it's fine. I just think this will look super cute when I have all the boxes as I go, especially if I'm reading a lot of books in one month. There'll just be all these little boxes, one after each other, with hopefully some good reviews in there as well. I really love when journals are just filled with writing and with notes that is my main goal for this so fingers crossed once I add in some more reviews it will look exactly how I want it to. Okay guys I think think we are done. I'm not gonna lie to you this is definitely not the prettiest <laughs> neatest most perfect bullet journal you will ever see but you know what it's exactly what i wanted i wanted it to be nice and simple and minimalistic there are a few things i would probably change there are probably some things i will add as a goal this is like the first month that i'm doing this so this is kind of like a practice run i feel but this is the sort of idea that i'm going for and then for the ones we will see how it morphs and evolves hopefully if i can stick to it and if that's the case i will of course keep you updated in vlogs as to how it changes but let's just do a little flip through type thing just now so you can see exactly what I'm talking about and what I've done. Okay, so this is the first page. I'm actually really happy with this. I initially thought while I was doing it that I was not gonna like it, but I changed my mind. So obviously I very much took this from Maddie at Book Browsing Blog in terms of like the style of it. But then I decided to kind of take a leaf out of Hayley Pham's book and instead of just completely filling in the boxes, I decided to just outline them instead so we just I just sort of like went round the outsides in different colours of highlighter and instead just do it sort of like rainbowish if that makes sense so I've just gone in the same order the whole way through I have read 68 books so far in 2022 so hopefully I can get to 100 by the end of the year but yeah I really like how this one looks surprisingly because I did think I was not liking it halfway through but now I really like the sort of rainbow effect and then this is the first month so obviously we have started with August I am going to probably make this look a little bit better in future like I said this time I wanted it to be completely simplistic but I feel like it almost looks a little too simplistic like I feel like I need other things in here but for now it's great so obviously I have August books read number title author pages and rating so far I've only read three books this month which is ridiculous but hopefully we can add some more by the end of the month and next month I can fill the page and then I've also done August pages read again took a leaf out of Hayley Pham's book and just did the outline instead of filling the whole thing in I actually really like the way that 
that looks. I have read many more days in August but I can't for the life of me remember which days I actually read so I've just filled in the days that I do know for now. And then after that we go on to my reviews which is actually the main reason for me starting this journal in the first place. When it comes to my wrap ups I want to actually be able to remember what I'm talking about. So the plan is to continue like this so obviously there'll be another box here for my next review and so on and so on and that will take up the majority of the pages in this journal. I really, again I'm not entirely sure I feel about this. I might leave the highlighter in future. I was thinking of highlighting in like that month's colour so obviously I've gone for purple for August but I'll do a different colour each month. But yeah I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that. Like I said I'm not entirely sure how I feel about how minimalist this is. Like I wanted it to be very manageable and sustainable but now I kind of wish I'd done something prettier. So I think I'll keep the same sort of idea each month. So we'll just have books read, pages read and then reviews but I might start adding in like stickers and layers and things like that as the months go on. So that is it for this little creating a book journal video. I hope you enjoyed it. I feel like this has been utter chaos once again. Hopefully once I edit it all together it'll seem like a cohesive video and one that you'll actually enjoy. Again this hasn't turned out exactly how I wanted and it has made me realise a few other things about how I might like to do my journal in future but that's the fun of journaling. It is supposed to be like a creative outlet. You're supposed to sort of let yourself flow with it as you go I guess. So each month it may change, it may evolve, it doesn't have to be completely uniform and that is fine. I've tried to tell myself that the whole way through. It doesn't matter if I'm making mistakes or it's not exactly as I wanted it. It doesn't matter. It's supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be stressful. So fingers crossed I can keep this up and I will keep you updated as I go. If you made it to the end of this video then pop the pen emoji down below for this little creative arts and craftsy type time we have had today. Pop that emoji down below just to let me know that you made it to the end of this video and that you enjoyed your time here. But as always if you did enjoy the video then do please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe for more bookish content from me. Comment down below with any of your thoughts and feelings. I do reply to every single comment. I love you all and I will see you in my next one. Thank <laughs> you.